Hi everyone, I'm JC Naylor and this is our presentation for our senior project, Bank Document Verifier. We are a team of three and Trevor Dalton and Jared Amon are my teammates and I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself. So as I mentioned, I'm JC Naylor. I'm getting my master's in computing with an emphasis in data management and analysis. I am passionate about full stack development and I discovered this through PDV. It is important to both be a front end developer and a back end developer. I enjoy Python, C++, picking up new skills and learning about new technologies and I'm outgoing and productive. And let's go ahead and meet the other teammates. Hi, my name is Jared Amon and I'm on the BDV team. I'm currently graduating with a bachelor's in computer science this semester, and I'll be pursuing a master's in human-centered computing at the University of Utah. I'm currently working as a software developer for the University of Utah, where I learned valuable skills like Angular, React, Node.js, and Git. And in my spare time, I love the great outdoors, writing, and music. Hi, my name is Trevor Dalton. I'm a senior who's graduating this spring with a BS in computer science. I'll be starting a master's program this fall in data science. I'm currently employed at Northrop Grumman as a software engineer, and I love to read in my spare time. Now that we've got the team, let's go ahead and dive into our motivation behind BDV. Say you are applying for a loan, and the financial institution you are going through requests that you send in documents in order to verify your identity or your income or your assets so they can feel confident that you'll be able to pay that loan back. Then the problem is, is on the financial institution end, they have a whole department slugging through all these documents in order to verify this information by hand. This process can be slow, it's subject to error, and it costs the institution a lot of money. Our solution is developed to handle any security concerns so it can live in the financial industry world, but it also wants to automate this verification process so you as an applicant can hear back sooner and it can cost the bank less money. We also want to maintain and create an interactive interface to facilitate a collaboration across the bank so different roles can still maintain and talk. Without BDV, this uh, approval process might have looked like an applicant applying for a loan, a lender requesting proof of income, the applicant sending in a W-2, a verification specialist reviewing the W-2 manually and approving the loan. Afterwards, say a manager right before the verification specialist reviewed the W-2 changed the way we should verify W-2. The lending ver verification specialist was not aware of this update, and so this leads to an audit error and the application being mistakenly approved. With BDB, we take all of these verification processes and implement them, so the users are not concerned with how this is happening as much. So say with BDB, Shelby will apply for a loan, a, ver a lender will request proof of income, they send in their W-2. Say in the meantime, a manager changes the way we should handle a W-2, and this is done through the BDV app, then when Jeremy, as now, because now a lender can handle submitting this uh, document to BDV, they comes back with an approved, and if they have any questions, they can reach out to the verification specialist who can review it manually if necessary. Now the loan is approved, and it's approved on the most up-to-date version of a W-2 being processed, and Jed will find that this is an accurately processed application. So here we have an applicant who is looking to be approved in a timely manner, a lender who is wanting to verify applicants' documents in order to help communicate with the applicant sooner, a verification specialist who wants to be aware of when applications are flagged and be able to receive any questions when they need to review an application manually, a manager who wants to be able to create and update these current verification processes in real time so that it can spread to all of the users across the system and receive any questions from a verification specialist, an auditor is someone who wants to review the state of an application and its verifications and send out errors, and an admin is someone who's concerned with user management and needs to simulate user roles. Now, we'd like to familiarize yourself with these roles and demo our system. So we begin our demonstration of the BDV app here at our manager Kyler's homepage. It's another day at Enterbank, and they've just chosen to put BDV in their system. Now that BDV is live, we can go ahead and take a look at documents that are associated with BDV and therefore Enterbank. As you can see, the documents W4 and Form W5 already exist. These correspond to documents that might be submitted in an application for a loan that might be useful in verifying identity or income for W4 or W5, respectively. Now we want to go ahead and add a 1040EZ document to our system. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we've successfully added the document into our system. Now let's go ahead and add some rules to the document that will tell the document processor what to look for whenever a 1040EZ document is submitted. All right, 
Now that we've gone ahead and added those triggers to the 1040 easy document, the document processor will know what to look for. In this case, a social security number, a total income, and a name that corresponds to the applicant's name, social security number, and total income. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our lender who will receive an application from Tyler Wilco and process it using the provided documents. All right, now we're on our lender, Jeremy's homepage. Now that Tyler Wilco, our applicant, has provided an application to EnterBank that will show up here on BDB system, as you can see here at the top. Let's go ahead and take a look at those application details. As you can see, we can see details about the application, including the applicant's name, the co-applicant's name, which in this case is applicable, as well as any other information that's provided with the application. We can also take a look at notes provided with the application or documents provided with the application. In this case, a 1040EZ document has already been submitted to the BDB system. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And now we can run it through the document processor. The document processor will now run through the 1040EZ template as well as all of its triggers and ensure that the information provided under those triggers matches what is provided on the application. Indeed, that information does match. Tyler Wilco's identity has been verified. There is a debt to income ratio issue. However, this, this document is not used for income. It is only used for identity. And so therefore, for the purposes of identity, this application is indeed good to go. This is a new document. So let's go ahead and flag this application for verification specialists, just to be sure that we can have somebody manually review this and ensure that the document processor is returning the right results. That application is successfully flagged. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our verification specialist, Kylie, who will manually review this application. All right, now we are at our verification specialist, Kylie's homepage. We can go ahead and take a look at notifications here. As you can see, our lender, Jeremy, has flagged this application for review. Let's go ahead and mark this notification as red and take a look at the application. As you can see, we can manually verify everything looks correct here. We can take a look at the provided first name and initial and last name of the document, Tyler Wilco, as well as Kaylee Wilco, our applicant, our co-applicant's information. Therefore, we can go ahead and confirm that this application is indeed good to go from a standpoint of identity. Let's go ahead and unflag this application. Awesome, that application has now been successfully unflagged and all is good to go. Now let's take a look at our auditor who is going to run through at the end of the day and take a look at all of the applications submitted to the system. All right, we're now at Jed, the auditor's homepage. Now that it's the end of the day at EnterBank, we can go ahead and audit all the applications that have been provided to us. As you can see, we're presented with a page that looks a lot like the application details page. However, the document processor is not used here because it is not important as an auditor is meant to manually review documents. Let's go ahead and take a look at the status info. As you can see, the applicant's identity has been verified, the co-applicant's identity has been verified, and the applicant's income has been verified. We can go ahead and take a look at the documents provided and manually verify that. Since we have manually verified that, we don't have to report an error, but if we did notice something wrong with the application, we could go ahead and report an error here with this button for managers to review. All right, it is the end of the day at EnterBank. Now Tyler Wilco can receive his application results back quicker than ever. And that, along with the comprehensive user management panel that allows administrators full control over the persistent security of our system, concludes our demonstration of the BDB app. With BDB, applicants like Tyler Wilco can receive the results of their applications for loans quicker than ever. And EnterBank, our client, can process more applications for loans than ever before. We hope you enjoy this brief demonstration. Some cool stats over the course of this capstone. We finished 153 tasks over the course of 16 weeks, or eight sprints if you'd rather. We completed 45 API routes and published 24 of them to Swagger. We committed 454 times across our, all three of our repositories. We created 53 unit tests and we created one amazing project. We used a mean stack, which means we used MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node.js. We regularly talked with eight different users of the course of our development. One notable thing that these users recommended that we did include in the final system was the submission of images. So you'll find when demoing our system that you can submit PNGs and JPEGs as well as the standard PDFs. We harnessed many technologies over the course of our development. Here are six notable ones. We used Auth0 for security, NG Zora for components and UI concerns, Firebase for front-end hosting, Google Vision for our OCR that was used inside the parsing, Google App Engine for hosting our server API, and ESLint, Husky, and Lint Stage, all for development quality of life and ensuring that our code is top-notch. 
In conclusion, we'd like you to thank you for watching our presentation. And if you have any questions, we encourage you to reach out. Developing BDV was quite the experience and we loved everything we learned throughout the process. And it's very successful and going to be very useful for our users as soon as they integrate it with their other systems. Thank you.